Use ref, the most flexible hook in React. Use ref allows you to persist values between renders kind of like use state, except use ref does not trigger a re-render of the component. Of the biggest use cases of use ref is to reference DOM elements, keep track of how many times a component has re-rendered, and also keeping track of previous values of state. In this video, I'll be showing you these three examples, starting off with referencing DOM elements. As you can see inside of my JSX, I have a button that I'm going to use to be able to scroll down to the last paragraph, and I want to automatically scroll down from the top element to the bottom element. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is to create an onClick event, and I'm going to provide to my onClick event a scroll down function which I will create in a moment. Next, I'm going to call the useRef hook. Now aside from the fact that useRef does not trigger re-renders, useRef only returns one constant, and I'll call this constant last paragraph ref. Now in order for it to reference an element inside of the JSX, all you have to do is provide to that element a ref attribute and I'll set that equal to last paragraph ref. Next, I'm going to create my scroll down function and I'll call my last paragraph ref and this reference will be an object with the property of current and the current property will be the element itself and in this case, it is the p tag that I'm referencing. From there, I'm just going to call a native DOM method and I'll just provide to it the details of how I want it to scroll down. Now, if I press the scroll down to last paragraph button, you will see that it will scroll down automatically. Now the second use case of user ref as mentioned was to count how many times a component has rendered. So over here you can see I have a simple counter using a count and set count state and whenever I click this button count will increment. Now whenever I click the plus one button I could see it actually is re-rendering but there is no way of knowing how many times it actually re-rendered without triggering another re-render. So in order to fix that problem the first thing I'm going to do is call my use ref hook and give the initial value of zero and set that equal to render count. Next, I'm going to call my use effect hook, and what I want to happen is whenever a render occurs, I want to set the render count dot current equal to render count dot current plus one. Next, I'm just going to log it out to the console, and as you could see, as soon as I refresh the page, you could see that the DOM has actually rendered twice. Now, we're not getting into the details of why it rendered twice, however, as you could see, every time I click the button, it will show the amount of times it has rendered. Now as for the last use case of useRef, which was to show you the previous value of the state, as you can see in this example I have the same counter as before, and I have an empty use effect, and what I'm going to do is create my useRef and set it equal to a previous count constant. Next inside of my use effect, I'm just going to call previous count dot current and set that equal to the count state. Then I'm going to log it out to the console and provide a dependency to my use effect hook, which is the count state. But I'm not just going to log out to the console my previous count, but I'm also going to add it inside of my JSX. And now if I go ahead and save and refresh, you'll see that the previous count will show me the previous state. However, keep in mind that the current value of the previous count is actually the same as the count state. It's just that previous count does not trigger a re-render and therefore you see the previous value of the state. And with that said, those are the three use cases for useRef in three minutes. And on that bombshell, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.